I like physical medicine. Um, they have taught me quite a bit of, of stuff. Um, to be healthy starts with your internal um, relationship, in my opinion, with God. Because when you're at peace, then a lot of things can start to work well that weren't working well in you. You know? When you're not feeling, when you allow depression, negativity, anxiety to come in, no matter what supplements you're taking, actually, it's not going to get better. You know, it's not. Uh, you get better as you begin to change your thinking, you know. And this is where I can take you to uh, Romans 12, verse 2. It says, to be renewed in the spirit of your mind, okay, being transformed. In order for you to be renewed, okay, you're going to have to focus on something different. And this is the, listen, I, I have, I'm not telling you that I've arrived. I'm telling you that I have head knowledge on this and some heart knowledge from it. You know, but sometimes getting from the head to the heart is really, really a big challenge because sometimes we're, we're so, you know, we got the theory, we have it, but what we don't have is many times the experience and to pass the head knowledge to heart knowledge, we're going to have to uh, go through things. There's no other way guys. There's no other way, but going through a situation and I can tell you from experience that is the best way for heart knowledge to become, for head knowledge to become heart knowledge. There is no other way. As you go through your experiences, as you go through the experience of, you know, maybe a, a heartbreak, as you go through the experience of someone betraying you, I'm not saying that you need to welcome these things. I'm just saying that these things help you to stay in peace. When you begin to have these experiences then you can learn you can learn so much you know you know they um there's that saying it's kind of corny right it's like christians are like tea bags right you really know their flavor in hot water well you're really gonna know who you are when you get some bad news <laughs> you're really gonna know what you really believe when you're not having everything in optimal it's easy to be positive and to stay you know happy when everything's going right but when things are affecting you to push through to decide to make a decision you see that's what i love about god he gave us that free will to make a decision not to stay sad not to stay depressed not to allow whatever genetics you've been dealt so your mother was a depressed person so what does that mean that you have to be absolutely not it just means that you have to maybe overcome a little bit more. Maybe you have to pray more. Maybe you have to meditate more. Maybe you have to relax more. You know, whatever that is, guys, you got to get it done because your life is worth it. This way you can make an impact in the world as just as opposed to going with the flow. There's people that are counting on you succeeding and going through your trials and overcoming and then you give them permission to overcome too. You have a great day. And remember to take your vitamin D, okay? Like I'm doing today, taking this vitamin D and I'm taking this sun in, you know? I always loved the sun, the sun, you know, when I was a little girl. And then my mom was like, te vas a poner más negrita, you're gonna get blacker. I'm like, and? As a little kid, you don't know what the heck black or white is, who cares? But Latino people understand this, and black people understand this, and maybe brown skinned Indian people understand it. We're gonna get darker, we're gonna get darker, right? As if dark is something wrong. The darkness of my skin, the extra melanin, trust me, I'm really liking that melanin now. Because there's people my age that their melanin is not helping them. But they got other things. We all have something, okay? We all have something. You have a blessed day, and I'll be talking to you. Bye.